On Tuesday, August 24th, the school committee unanimously voted to approve Arlington Public Schools reopening plan. This means that the school calendar will generally conform to last year's guidelines with a few significant changes. The reopening plan updates seven key areas, the most significant being that masks will be required regardless of vaccination status for all members of Arlington Public Schools. APS is aiming towards requiring vaccination for all APS staff and volunteers. I do think it's important to note that we have made full vaccination a condition of uh, be, becoming employed, so it's a condition of hiring. Um, so anyone who's coming into our schools as a new hire is required to be vaccinated. Anyone who is going to be a, a student facing volunteer will be required to be vaccinated. Arlington Public Schools will be continuing their testing program in the new school year. As of the meeting, 70% of Arlington families have given the school permission to test their children. Finding a new vendor to provide testing for APS students and staff is an urgent priority for Superintendent Holman. We did learn late last week that Desi has contracted with a new vendor, CIC, for the pool testing initiatives that are going to be funded by the state. So they're no longer going to allow us to work with the vendor we had previously, which was Ginkgo Concentric. Um, this information means, first of all, that we're doing a lot of logistical work right now to make sure that we are up and running as quickly as possible to start the school year. I cannot definitively say that we will be able to run a round of pool testing in the first week, which is really only two days. Holman also introduced the test and stay model for students who are in close contact with other students and staff members who test positive for COVID-19. Students who remain asymptomatic, wear masks at all times, maintain three feet of social distancing while eating, receive a negative rapid test at the start of each school day, and quarantine on the weekends will be allowed to continue to attend school even if they were a close contact. While the reopening plan passed the board unanimously, one Arlington resident was not pleased with it. On the cost of masks, I believe it's being framed incorrectly as a logistical problem measured in degrees of inconvenience. I think this framing is the adult experience of masking being projected onto our children. There are 22 socials and 20 emotionals in the back to school plan. None of them refer to the downside of kids wearing masks all day. I think we are doing, a, doing significant damage to all of our students, even the least vulnerable. Their posture toward risk fear, and other human, be human beings is being impacted. The impact will last for years, if not forever. Holman stated during the meeting that if conditions change to a point where they need to reconsider guidelines, that they would call another meeting similar to the one held on Tuesday. For more information, you can visit arlington.k12.ma.us. For the last time, for ACMI News, I'm Toby Barrett.